Wasi Oral English 2020. And please like our video, subscribe, hit the bell for more exciting videos. Test 1. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Beat. The word I read was B-E-A-T. Beat. So the correct answer for example 1 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 1. Example 2. Park. The word I read was P-A-R-K, park. So the correct answer for example 2 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 1 on your answer sheet. Start at number 1. Number 1, pun. Number two, bake. Number three, ship. Number four, ruin. Number five, battle. Number six, Shook. Number seven, foam. Number eight, ton. Number nine, small. Number ten, lair. Test 2. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Seeds. The word I read was S-E-E-D-S, seeds. So the correct answer for example one is B. It's recorded by shading answer space B against number one. Example two, bent. The word I read was B-E-N-T, bent. So the correct answer for example two is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 2 on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11. Drain. Number 12. Few. Number 13, bow. Number 14, fate. Number 15, womb. Number 16, trees. Number 17, warp. Number 18, plane.
Number 19, Rattle. Number 20, Berry. Test 3. Listen carefully. In this test, there are four words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Watch. The word I read was W-A-T-C-H. Watch. So the correct answer for example 1 is D. This is recorded by shading answer space D against number 1. Example 2. Slime. The word I read was S-L-I-M-E. Slime. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 3 on your answer sheet. Start at number 21. Number 21. Click. Number 22. Frown. Number 23. Men's. Number 24, lice. Number 25, wick. Number 26, sky. Number 27, ample. Test 4. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three sentences in each group. I'm going to read one sentence from each group. Beside the sentence I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. He couldn't play. The sentence I read was sentence C, he couldn't play. So the correct answer for example 1 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 1. Example 2, this team has power. The sentence I read was sentence A, this team has power. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. It is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 4 on your answer sheet. Start at number 28. Number 28. I heard him say clack. Number 29, she was in the mall. Number 30, John used the word symbol. Number 31, the bench is on the floor. Number 32, he spelled the word shut. Number 33, you are on the right track. Number 34, the teacher said groom. Mm -hmm. 
Test 5. In this test, the word you will hear does not appear on your word list. That word only rhymes with one of the words on the list. Example 1. Listen to this word, pet. Which of the four words in example 1 rhymes with pet? The correct word is set. The other words do not rhyme with pet. The letter written against set is C, and this is recorded by shading answer space C against number 1. Example 2. Listen to this word, sing. Which of the four words in example 2 rhymes with sing? The correct word is wing. The other words do not rhyme with sing. The letter written against wing is D. And this is recorded by shading answer space D against number 2. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 5 on your answer sheet. Start at number 35. Number 35. Paint. Number 36. Bridge. Number 37, arrow. Number 38, brother. Number 39, elastic. Number 40, prize. Number 41, jury. Number 42, beach. Test 6. You're now going to hear some questions and answers. The questions will all be different, and the answer is always the same. You have to choose the one question which goes with the repeated answer. Here are two examples. Example one. Who borrowed your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did John borrow your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did he steal your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. The correct answer is C because... He borrowed my newspaper. Answers the question... Did he steal your newspaper? This is recorded by shading answer space C against number one. Example two. What is the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. Is London the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. What country is London the capital of? London is the capital of Britain. The correct answer is A because... London is the capital of Britain. Answer the question. What is the capital of Britain? This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. In the test which follows, you will hear only the answers. The questions will not be read. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 6 on your answer sheet. Start at number 43. Number 43, Terry prefers the blue shirt. Number 44, my back will break from sitting too long. Number 45, the police are expected to enforce the law. Number 46. His car is bigger than mine. Number 47. 
Others tailor makes beautiful dresses. Number 48. The ball was kicked through the window. Number 49. Water is good for health. Number 50. Classes will resume after Ramadan. Number 51. Kelly met Tasha in school. Number 52. The children came to see me yesterday. Test 7. You're now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements on your question paper and decide which of them is correct. Share the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Here is an example. He said the exercise was well done. That's what he said. Both are doubtful as to whether the exercise was well done. The correct answer is therefore statement C. This is recorded by shading answer space C. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. Why can't you ever be ready on time? Just a minute. I'll be out soon. Number 54. I've been on my feet the whole day. Oh, come over here and rest a while. Number 55. It rained yesterday? It did. Number 56. The food at the party was excellent. I really enjoyed it. Test 8. You're now going to hear a short conversation between two speakers, a man and a woman, and a narrative. Both the conversation and the narrative will be placed to you twice. Immediately after hearing this of them, you'll be asked two questions. From your question paper, decide on the correct answers. On your answer sheet, shade the space or the appropriate letter. There are no examples for this test. Therefore, get ready to start at number 57. Conversation. What is happening these days? What? Has anything happened? Yes. Women are going to active politics, and that is unusual and worrying. Why do you have to worry about this? Because women turn national politics into something else. When they assume political office, they'll be more interested in getting praises from people rather than fixing our problems. What makes you think women will behave as you say? You should know that women have tenacity to confront any obstacle that comes their way. Women's experience as mothers stands them in good stead to understand the dynamics of governance and problems as they occur. I can understand now. So, you mean politics is meant for people who are tender-hearted and strong-willed? Exactly! That is the point. Women are receptive to people's plight and go out of their way to meet people's needs. They are also innovative and are problem solvers. But women will only fix the small problems that have no bearing on the bigger ones we grapple with. They are too emotional and get carried away easily. You don't have to be so biased. 
Don't you see the roles played by women as directors and managers in our public corporations? Indeed, women have transformed such places to the fascination of all. Moreover, they will use their experiences to bring sanity into our national politics. Well, I can see the point you are driving at. We can only hope for the best. Listen to the composition again. What is happening these days? What? Has anything happened? Yes. Women are going to active politics, and that is unusual and worrying. Why do you have to worry about this? Because women turn national politics into something else. When they assume political office, they will be more interested in getting praises from people rather than fixing our problems. What makes you think women will behave as you say? You should know that women have tenacity to confront any obstacle that comes their way. Women's experience as mothers stands them in good stead to understand the dynamics of governance and problems as they occur. I can understand now. So, you mean politics is meant for people who are tender-hearted and strong-willed? Exactly! That is the point. Women are receptive to people's plight and go out of their way to meet people's needs. They are also innovative and are problem solvers. But women will only fix the small problems that have no bearing on the bigger ones we grapple with. They are too emotional and get carried away easily. You don't have to be so biased. Don't you see the roles played by women as directors and managers in our public corporations? Indeed, women have transformed such places to the fascination of all. Moreover, they will use their experiences to bring sanity into our national politics. Well, I can see the point you are driving at. We can only hope for the best. Number 57. According to the conversation, Number 58, from the conversation we learned that Narrative Stepping out of one's comfort zone can be exciting and at the same time make one feel uneasy. Mumbo could not believe his luck when he received a telephone call one afternoon inviting him to attend a training seminar on mining in South Africa. He was a qualified engineer, but was confined only to the mechanical aspect of it. Now that his company was going into mining, he had to be equipped for this. The trip was scheduled to take place in two weeks, and he started making preparations in earnest. He first had to secure a passport, as he had never traveled out of his country. He quickly put all other things in place and was so excited that he couldn't sleep at all the night before the journey. Being in South Africa was a thrilling experience for him. However, as the seminar progressed, he became dissatisfied. First, there was the weather. No one had prepared him for what he was experiencing. It was so cold that he was often seen shivering the whole day. He had no warm clothing. Then there was a food he was so unfamiliar with. Being an ardent lover of rice, he could not appreciate what he was offered at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How he would have loved a big plate of rice and some type of vegetable soup every day. Instead, he was daily offered potatoes and all sorts of strange assorted meat. But he cooked well. The four weeks passed quickly, and he returned home. He concluded that, as much as it is nice to have new experiences, stepping out of one's comfort zone can be trying, as one is often unfamiliar with what lies ahead. Listen to the narrative again. 
Stepping out of one's comfort zone can be exciting and at the same time make one feel uneasy. Mumbo could not believe his luck when he received a telephone call one afternoon inviting him to attend a training seminar on mining in South Africa. He was a qualified engineer but was confined only to the mechanical aspect of it. Now that his company was going into mining, he had to be equipped for this. The trip was scheduled to take place in two weeks, and he started making preparations in earnest. He first had to secure a passport, as he had never traveled out of his country. He quickly put all other things in place, and was so excited that he couldn't sleep at all the night before the journey. Being in South Africa was a thrilling experience for him. However, as the seminar progressed, he became dissatisfied. First, there was the weather. No one had prepared him for what he was experiencing. It was so cold that he was often seen shivering the whole day. He had no warm clothing. Then, there was the food he was so unfamiliar with. Being an ardent lover of rice, he could not appreciate what he was offered at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How he would have loved a big plate of rice and some type of vegetable soup every day. Instead, he was daily offered potatoes and all sorts of strange assorted meat. But he coped well. The four weeks passed quickly and he returned home. He concluded that as much as it is nice to have new experiences, Stepping out of one's comfort zone can be trying as one is often unfamiliar with what lies ahead. Number 59. According to the narrative, Number 60. From the narrative we learn that Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like our videos, subscribe, hit the bell for more exciting videos. Thank you.